Ok E Tamo up in a gomio Happily reached another dawn It is Something around 8 o'clock in the a.m. On Moonday morning January 20th, 2020 Lots of 20s in there <laughs> Um it's like jackpot 20s. Ooh, a little bit of ice here. Gotta be careful of these icy spots. Anyway, I am on hoof this morning. We're in the last little crescent of Misamiko Komiato. It's the long night's moon. I forgot to mention that. She's just up here, but I don't think you'd even be able to, to note her on the camera. Um, yeah, I'm on hoof this morning, as discussed in yesterday's video. Oh, vicious. You guys are vicious. A whole herd of chihuahuas. Yeah, you're very cute. You're very cute. <laughs> um, yeah, the moon is up there. I don't know if you can see it. Just a crescent. I'm on hoof, car's in the shop, shop phoned me just as I was on my way out of the house this morning and um, they said they might not even get to it till tomorrow because they've got a full schedule today. Um, Chels does have an appointment for her vehicle there today so I think she'll be okay. But I'm probably on hoof at least today if not into tomorrow as well which is all right except things are gonna warm up here like it's maybe three degrees below zero right now it's not it's not very cold and they're gonna go above zero and there is potential then in the next couple of nights to start getting some small mammal calls again you know as things warm up they're gonna wake up and they're going to be wanting to go and scrub up a vehicle, uh, uh, a meal from somewhere. Wow, this sunrise colors are pretty nice. Anyhow, hiking to work and taking my time about it. I don't really need to be there for another half hour. So I'll probably sweep through some of the neighborhoods just for the exercise and opportunity for a look around morning and uh, yeah we'll see decided not to go obviously YouTube live this morning thought who's gonna wake up early to take a walk with me to work probably not many would have been a fun experiment maybe sometime in the future I'll set up a set up a walk Anyhow, just moving down. This is 13th Street North. This is one of the bigger routes through the north side of town. One of the one of the uh, wider streets. More vehicles. Really trying to sit, avoid saying main thoroughfare because I think I said it like 10 times in yesterday's video. And we're going to start to get into the area of North End mini malls and such. Canadian Polish Association Yeah, here on the north side of town you have all different kind of ethnicities and all different kind of little clubhouses for those ethnicities too You know, we got the German, the Polish Association, we got a German Association, we got an Italian Association
Got all kinds of different uh, this and that. Ooh, lots of ice this morning. Still got our Christmas street decor. Our snowmen in lights. All right, I'm gonna shut down for a minute. Yeah, for those ethnic groups that don't have an association, society, clubhouse kind of a thing, they at least have their churches, you know? I've never been in this, this Thriftway IDA pharmacy, but it looks old school. It looks kind of cool. Check it out. They got even some uh, fashions in there, back in there. They're decked out for Valentine's Day. They got like a little bit of tripods and uh, probably some technologies against that wall. Cheapo watches and jewelry and stuff. This is a this is an interesting little trinket shop of a of a thrift shop here. I might have to uh, come check it out. I just always assume it was just a pharmacy and it was, you know. And there is, I guess, a pharmacy back in there, but they got a lot of a lot of funky stuff going on. You never know what you'll find in a shop like that. I remember when I was in, um, when I was in Fort Polk, Louisiana, and the adjacent city, Leesville, they had a little shop, something like that, you know, um, that wasn't far from the movie theater. Me and my friends, we used to hike in, hike into town from the fort, just following the railroad tracks to come in and watch the movie. And we stopped at that trinket store. I remember we found some really uh, crazy stuff. Like, you know that old game with from Jaws the movie? And the game probably came out in the in the 1970s where you have the shark and you got you got this uh, long um, hook, you know, and you're hooking things out of the shark's mouth. And it's there's a rubber band attached, so at some point the shark closes its mouth, you know. Um, we found those like in box, original, <laughs> on the shelf still, um, you know, for for probably less than 10 bucks at the time. This was maybe 1992, something like that. But it was, even then, you know, it was like almost two decades after the movie. So you never know what you'll find in a weird little shop. Green's Pop Shop. I think that might be the last one left in the city. Unfortunately, those were cool, kind of like old school, old school uh, pop shop all in one convenience store things that weren't run by the two, you know, Circle K and 7 Eleven. Got another church here. sure who these guys are they might got a they might have a sign down at the end your 7-eleven your taco time <laughs> some ice Ooh. oh they got a little nativity scene set up here st. basil's catholic church Roman Catholics, lots of Catholics.
Lots of Catholics, lots of Mormons. Who does watch repair? Like they even got a whole shop. I wonder how like businesses like that possibly stay afloat, you know? How many guys are going in there having their watches repaired these days? <laughs> My watch, you know? That used to be Red Crow College. Used to be our uh, Lethbridge campus when I was working with the college. The latter part of the time I was working there. That's the Coco Vanilla Galactic Cantina, which has yet to open. Remember, we were gonna go explore and have lunch there and see what was up with the Star Wars theming. Want to try some of this stuff out? Never tried the, the, the Nile Valley Grocery Nile Valley Grocery Store, um, Tambayan Cambayan. I don't know some little restaurant. Mount Everest Groceries. Looks like some Nepalese stuff in here. It's just a little Nepalese shop. Oh, it's a little grocery store. A little Nepalese grocery store. All right, I cut off at 13th Street at 5th Avenue here. And I'm just coming down to the alleyway that leads to the studio that leads most directly to the studio Fifth Avenue is pretty busy for the north side avenues you know going east-west Alright, here we are. I can see way up ahead the Mark's Work Warehouse sign, so I know this is the right, the right place. It's, uh, it's very often sofa sets and stuff in the alleys. Sofa sets and old tires. And lots of trash and recycle. You'll see here, everybody's got a blue bin and a black bin. Because in Lethbridge, the cycle is every other week. So the blue bin are recyclables. Uh, pretty much all recyclables except glass. Because the glass would get all they get mixed up with everything in just shards but um, plastics paper cardboard you know that kind of stuff and then you got your trash so every other week your trash can gets picked up and on the weeks your trash can doesn't your recyclable does it's a new system here just installed this Maybe a year and a half ago, less. Old tires. <laughs> Catch a, quite a few skunks in this neighborhood here. Bit older houses I, I believe here on the north side just in this immediate like second Avenue to fifth Avenue 
older trees, older houses, older synanthropes. Somebody who enjoys old vehicles, but is never, ever, ever going to actually get them up to work in order. Places are all wired, old, old school as well. All right, so here is the alleyway leading directly to the studio. A lot of weird little shops along this corridor too. I don't quite know what everybody's doing, but some funky little businesses. Oh, it's gonna be an icy day. Big dicks. <laughs> Off road Canada shipping and receiving. Hire a handyman. down vehicle. Ooh, almost went over there. Very close to landing on my head from that ice patch right there. Woo. Crystal clean. Rug and furniture cleaning. Vogue's Kitchen, K Vogue Kitchens, Vogue, I don't know, they claim to make good man caves. Look at this, normally where I'd park, it's just all ice right now. This is a, uh, woo, ha ha ha. The Filipino church here above us, sweet one. Oh, goodness, somebody's gonna crack their heads open today. Might even be me. Whew. And we're here. The studio. To get a Monday rolling. Every morning. 
and I do a smudge in here when I come in. And it's funny, last week one of the artisan's daughters was asking her mom if she could skip school and come here to the studio instead. And uh, her mom was asking her why, you know, why would you want to be at the studio? She said that it smells like fresh Indians in there. <laughs> <laughs> this is what she meant and maybe if the Lethbridge Public Schools smudged a little bit more you know the native students would feel a bit more at home I will not be not those to bath up you Oh, kikoko maki some kipetaki. See? That's how I see Brandon. <laughs> That's how I see Brandon, Ryan. That's how I see Brandon when I look at him. <laughs> <laughs> I know, but you kind of like that, right? No. <laughs> 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 That's your man. I'm scooting out to find some lunch. Okay. Lunch time. Everybody else is back from lunch, so I'm going to go on the hunt. Not sure what I want to eat. Mostly, I just want to get outside you know enjoy this warm weather must be above zero now check it out check it out on my weather app it is three degrees below zero so not too shabby feels warm to me feels like almost I could go without a jacket <laughs> Uh, all right, so let's go see if we can find some grub. One of my favorite places to eat on the north side is just over here. That yellow awning there. Spring rolls. I like to get their crab puffs. And... Osaka beef dish with vermicelli noodles. <laughs> I think we must be nearby the Jewish club <laughs> for that uh, pocket of folks in Lethbridge. They get a lot. No, I think they got a church around here, a synagogue or what have you around here somewhere. Cannabis company. It's not going to help uh, fill my belly. I think maybe I'm going to go up to this Remember this morning we, we passed a little place? Like maybe I'll go up to that little place that sells like pitas and stuff. Hello. Yeah, we'll go check out that place. Here's the other Samus. Katie Joe's office. Artistically inked tattoos. And the ever present Canadian Tim Hortons across the street here. Alright, we don't got far to go. Tambayan ni Kemba. Tambayan ni Kebayan. <laughs> Let's 
see what they got on their uh, menu here. Do, 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 do. All right, not sure. I'm gonna go inside. All right, I was either too chicken or good mannered to drag the camera in there for my order but in any case I just basically went in there looked at what was on the board and it all looked like just breakfast stuff like a like a bun and an egg and a sausage kind of thing so I asked them what you know what's for lunch and they said they said something or another in in uh, a different language and then they said that's beef and then they got we well, got this other thing and there's a pork we got this other thing and I was just like let's try the beef so I got some kind of a beef lunch gonna go around the bend here find a green strip with somewhere to sit down and uh, go see what we got for lunch I think there's some parks down this way, maybe. Little parks. Okay, so I'm tasting my lunch now. I've pulled down in behind the Catholic school. Uh, they don't have a bench here. I was hoping they had a bench, but they do have a trash can when I'm done. Kind of cut myself on the wire on their fence <laughs> but yeah this is what I ended up getting it's kind of a kind of over medium egg with some beef on the side on top of a rice ball of some sort and uh, with a little slice of orange to go with it so all pretty wholesome stuff mmm Pretty good taste in rice. Let me try their beef. Mm hmm. Yeah, it's good taste in wholesome food. Not your typical greasy fast food. So this was something that I seen in their menu. It's just that everything comes with an egg, so it all looks like breakfast to me. <laughs> mm. All right, I'm gonna finish my meal and then we'll uh, trek on a little bit. Not sure exactly what intersection that is, 6th Avenue, 6th Avenue and maybe 12th Street, yeah, so we're on 12th Street now. I'm just kind of walking these streets back here, looking at these little houses. It's pretty cool neighborhoods. Lots of old trees, some of them too old, like these ones here. Scheduled to come down, looks like.
I think I might be on 12th Street B or 12th Street C. In any case, I'm headed back toward the studio. Probably time for me to go get get back to work, but I'm definitely feeling the itch to just be outside and enjoy this weather. Well, hopefully it lasts a little bit and I get to take advantage. Yeah, Roseanne is 72 years old today. Tape on the sleeves to the man. Oh, <coughs> looks nice. I'll finish it tomorrow. I'm so hungry. I think. What do you think for that? In the mud. Belly. Excuse me. I'm getting a fist from the inside. I would not fit that stomach because it's like boing, boing, boing. Oh, you fit like JC's man. Happy birthday. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to Rose. Happy birthday. 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 Happy birth